war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, my turn, big guy. Hun? Just getting ready. Ah, good morning, Mum. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> More of the same. Hey, Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, Mum. Sugar bombs. A hundred percent daily value of sugar. Someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Shaw. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. I'll be sweeping up the floors later. 
Codsworth? Ah, chores and more chores. My endless joy. Don't worry about the dishes. That's my job. Hun? We should take Codsworth to be serviced soon, don't you think? Uh, can you get the door? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and over. I've tried waiting him out before. Doesn't work. Might as well just answer the door. Good morning! vault calling! No offense, but no soliciting. Oh, no worries, ma'am. No worries at all. I'm not telling anything. Not today. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Uh, just go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <clears throat> total atomic annihilation. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hey, hun. Do I look nervous? I look nervous, don't I? Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. 
Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Hey, hon. What's wrong with Codsworth? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. Codsworth? We're, uh, trying Mom, to get confirmation. The news! We seem to have what? lost contact with what our did affiliate he say? stations. Oh, listen! Oh, no. We do, we do have... We do have coming in. That's, um... Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations... Oh, my in God! Oregon, What's going on? Pennsylvania. My God. God. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Hold on, little guy. Hold on. need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, you sir. Too. Follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Hold on! Hold on! Elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need this to worry, folks. Home. We'll get everyone situated in your okay, new home. Right? Vault 111. A better future underground. So we okay, just right? yes, up the stairs. Hey, everything okay? I can't believe it. We made it. If we left a minute later, <sighs> no, we no, don't be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs. Hey, and through the door up there. The stairs. Proceed in an orderly fashion. Vault Tech is here for nope. you. This way. All new this residents, please proceed in an orderly fashion. Hey. Step over to the table. Oh, Female. Oh. S excuse me. Hello there. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna pick up a suit right over there. Excuse me. Just step yeah, over to the table. Right over there. Over there. Excuse me. That was a nuke. A Thanks. goddamn nuke! What now? Just follow the doctor here. Excuse All me. Right, you three. It's down the follow hallway me. right there. Down that hallway. See? He'll hey show you where to go. This way, sir. Just this way. Oh, you're gonna love. Follow me. Follow me. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. I am. My mother and father down in DC. 
How long do you think we'll be down here? What if they didn't make it? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? The bald suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Hey. Just this way. This way, please. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Who is my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There she is, see? Mommy's not going far. All set? and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three.
cryogenic bay. Evidence must vacate. Giant roaches? What the hell? later for you. If I only had a bobby pin. Gotta find the terminal. No bobby pins.
What happened here? Where is everyone? that's left.
Wadsworth. You're still here. So other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. But you will seem the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is Sir, by the way? They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It'll take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. If you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I. I. Just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this holotape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you. As a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum! Fox <laughs> away! I'm supposed to be oppressed! That'll leave us dead. How? Ah, well, I suppose there's plenty more where that came from. in another house. Follow me!
Hey, Codsworth. Mom, Sir and young Sean. They aren't here. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, Mum. You'll find young Sean. I know you. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Codsworth. There must be someone who can help you in Concord. has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three...
Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you seem like an okay guy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? What do you think? Any bad guys around, buddy? Hey. Come on. Over here. Head over there.
If he had anything worth taking. <laughs> Grab anything useful. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> See if there's anything there. Take anything good. Wait there. Grab that. Out of bobby pins.
Sir. Hold position. That guy. Move out. Over there. Get that. Pick that up. Take that. Fetch it! Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. God damn it. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Tough break. You don't know the half of it. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... Ah, uh, that ain't it. Well, we do have one idea. Better be a good one. Sturgis, tell her. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well... Looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. <laughs> Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. <laughs> now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. <laughs>